Hello and welcome back. This video will briefly review the startup procedures for the robots in the lab. Our first robot is the Mitsubishi RH18SH. The robot has a controller on the floor and a teach pendant or teach box to use Mitsubishi's terminology that is placed near the arm. The controller has a simple on off switch on the front. To start the robot, move the switch to the on position. As you can see, the robot will go through a startup process. The teach pendant will also display information indicating when it is ready. If you receive an error when it is done starting up, try pressing the reset button on the front of the controller. If this doesn't clear the error, please see me. You will need to place the controller key switch in the teach position and then remove the key. Place it in the key slot on the teach pendant and turn it to the enable position. At this point, the robot is ready to be used. To enable the servos, you need to press the step move button and you will see the controller indicate that the servos have been enabled. And here is our FANUC robot. The process is the same for both the LR Mate robots and the M1IA robot, so I'm only going to show just the one controller. Like the Mitsubishi robots, there is a simple on-off switch on the front of the controller, which is on the floor. To start the robot, move the switch to the on position, and there is nothing to watch on the controller, so I'm just going to show the teach pendant here. As you can see, it displays the progress as the robot starts up. Once the controller is ready, you will see an error, most likely about the deadband switch being released. Make sure the selector switch below the e-stop is set to on, hold the deadband switch in, and then press the reset button to clear the error. If you press shift and an axis move button, you will hear the servos enable and the robot will begin to move. That's all for now. Be sure to watch the teach pendant video to understand how to physically move the robots. Thanks for watching. <music>